My research is using um, artworks and creative pieces of work um, which are representing people's life experiences living with chronic pain, uh, that's chronic physical pain. They um, were created by people who are already using artistic methods to represent what it's like to live with chronic pain and um, then I used those um, in online exhibitions and um, that was using a blog site and a Facebook group. Um, and those were a way to share the artworks with more people and it got a global audience. And it was partly to see how people respond to the artworks um, and there are some text-based ones as well. Uh, but to see how they, people respond to them, how they interpret them, whether it was the same way that the creator of the works had intended, whether that difference mattered or not. Um, and so it was just looking at that interpretation process. But it was also trying out a new kind of method by using an exhibition as a way to collect data rather than as an end result of a research project. One thing that's come out of it is that the sharing of the creative works in the Facebook group but also on the blog that's really helped to foster a sense of community between those people who have the chronic physical pain. Um, and that's been a very powerful experience for them. It's also shown that it has raised awareness and it's the, the works are able to help people to empathise with the experience of the pain, um, even though they understand that it's, it's a subjective thing. So I'm looking to take that forward into pain management programmes as a way to not just use arts activities as a distraction and a pain management tool, but to say actually they can be used in other ways as well. They can help us to express and communicate this pain. Um, whether we make the works ourselves or whether we use some that other people have made, you know, this is another way that we can help to, to build this communication.